Well, Patrick, it's been a long time. How you doing, man? I'm doing good, Your <laughs> Honor. I think, well, who couldn't be doing good if you're on my side of the aisle after the butt whooping administered by Vice President Harris to the Republican candidate at the recent debate? I think even Trump supporters would have to admit he fell short of his goal. I don't know, eating dogs and cats, that sort of thing. Just probably not uh, good stuff. I'm sorry. When he's... <laughs> It's, it's hard to be serious after that. It really is. Well, she, she took to him in the debate, and the minute she said anything about crowd size, he just kind of lost it, really. You know, Joe Biden ended his candidacy in the first debate. This one won't have that monumental effect in terms of a candidate leaving the race, but I believe it will switch 2 or 3%, which is enough to win this election. I, I think the polls apparently... as as you might think they might be or aren't, are all over the map. Yes. And I really think she's definitely gaining momentum. I think it is time. I think Donald Trump was first elected because the country was tired of somebody named Bush and somebody named Clinton. They looked to Donald Trump for a change. They've now seen him. He now looks like the old mentally challenged candidate. She, without a great track record, at least we don't know presidency-wise, she's been an attorney general, a senator, and a vice president, uh, gives hope to a newer generation. And if she's good enough for Taylor Swift. And Martha Stewart. <laughs> and Martha Stewart. You know, Taylor's got them going and registering up over 400,000. Now, speaking of registration, the deadline for registration to vote in Indiana is October 7. Listen to me, you 5 million people watching. If you don't vote, you don't have a right to have an opinion on this election, and you don't have a right to complain about your government. Get out, get registered, vote. On a more somber note, the second attempt on Donald Trump's life occurred over the weekend. I mean... That is this, not the way we settle political contests no. in this country. I was with some young people over the weekend, and they were trying to remember, they asked me, when was the last time we had these many incidents happen in an election year? I said, we have to go back to 1968. Yeah. Bobby, I mean, Bobby Kennedy with Martin Luther King, right. uh, just, just horrible times. Uh, um, and and I, I don't know what's driving that. I, I don't know if it's um, just the berserk populace that we have right now that we've become so polarized. But, uh, well, the last guy w was, was also looking at the Biden schedule. I think some of these crazy people just want to go down in infamy. I don't know what it is. Well, I think a lot of it has to do with mental health issues to a certain extent and also the fueling of those emotions by social media. I, I think that's right. I think it's a whole different world when you can self-publish. But before we get to our local races, yes, sir. which our show today will feature, um, all of the county races, um, I'm reading some articles where the Indiana governor's race maybe is getting narrower. It's getting a little bit narrower. There's more money coming into uh, the Democrat candidate. But... More importantly, or this is important, I should say, the attorney general's race is, is a toss-up at this point. Well, it should be because Todd Rokita is an idiot. <laughs> well, he doesn't understand what the job of attorney general is. Well, no, he, he thinks that it's to file amicus briefs and get into some of these wacko lawsuits across the country. He uh, thinks you prosecute doctors for rendering medical care. He's, he's an embarrassment, and he, I hope he gets beat. All right, enough of our chit-chat. It's time to hear from the candidates. We are going to hear from uh, both of the candidates for county commissioner, Amy Canterbury and Hope Fussner, and then our viewers, and this is the strength, I think, of Shively and Shoulders. You're going to get to meet people who probably don't have the money to run a com political commercial. Stay tuned. Watch as Vandenberg County Council at Large candidates tell you why they're running. Hello. My name is Hope Fussner and I am running for Vandenberg County Commissioner because our community made me who I am today, and it is my turn to give back. 
I had a troubled childhood and needed an escape. Luckily, I realized that at a young age that getting involved in my community through local organizations and the church could help me, and I could help others in the process. I went to USI where I learned about leadership and graduated with an education degree. I then moved to Indianapolis for eight years where I was able to spread my wings and become successful in the business world and also volunteer for nonprofits. Now, I have been back for four years and I'm here to make a difference for you. I'm a project manager at Mead Johnson where I lead multi-million dollar projects with 30 person teams to develop new items for infants. I serve on multiple nonprofit boards so that I can help our community. I host the Giving Tree of Warmth and pass out over a thousand items of warmth every winter and even have a little free pantry in my front yard to help feed my neighbors that are in need. I'm even a volunteer and foster of kittens for VHS. I am running for Vanderburg County Commissioner so that I can bring fresh ideas and transparency to this office. I will focus on public safety, which will always be my top priority. Utility rate costs that are becoming unaffordable for our residents. And quality of life through parks, trails, and roads. Within these focuses, you will see my three C's incorporated. Collaboration, community, and clarity. I will collaborate with city officials for the greater good of Vanderburg County. I'll make sure we are bringing young families to Vanderburg County and keeping them here. I want to see our county succeed and make sure that we are open to growth and new ideas and always transparent about decisions that are made. I am ready to be your next commissioner and champion you. You will be my focus. And I'm always available to sit down and discuss any questions, any concerns that you might have. I hope you'll take time after this to visit votehopefussner.com to learn more about me, but also what we can accomplish together. Thank you, and I hope for your support on November 5th. I'm Amy Canterbury. I've spent my entire adult life here in Vanderburg County, and I'm proud and honored to be your Republican nominee for the County Commissioner. Throughout my life, I've been blessed with tremendous opportunities that have allowed me to meet and work with countless incredible and inspirational people, and I've gained experiences that will help me serve our community on day one. I'm not a politician. In fact, I've never ran for office before now. I've spent my life and career here in this community serving this community. As a banker, I learned the financial skills needed to run a successful enterprise, including our county. I learned how to manage finances, help clients reach their goals, and develop the interpersonal skills to work collaboratively with others to benefit all. It takes a team to accomplish great things, and I realize the value and potential we all have when we work together. After 25 years in the banking industry, I began a new chapter as regional CEO of the local American Red Cross, and later the CEO of United Way, Southwestern Indiana. Again, working collaboratively, we help some of the most vulnerable in our area to get a hand up, and this is some of the most impactful and meaningful work of my life. I will always be grateful for my time at United Way and proud of our many endeavors, including the collaborative partnership in Talent EVV, which allows businesses and workers to grow and contributes to strong and responsible economic growth throughout the Evansville region. Now, I'm ready to serve in a new capacity and I'm asking for your vote for Vanderburg County Commissioner. I have the experience and the passion to serve and I'm ready to lead. The next few years will be crucial for our county, and it's important to have someone prepared and qualified to get the job done. I know inflation is hurting everyone, and I feel it too. While most of the pain we feel is, by, is driven by national politics, I will always look for ways to save taxpayers locally, ensuring our priorities are funded responsibly and efficiently. I'll oppose burdensome new taxes and be a wise financial steward of your funds, always realizing it's your money, not the government. I'll fiercely defend the men and women in law enforcement and public safety, ensuring they have the funding and tools to keep our communities and families safe while they and their families are supported. 
and I will work to ensure our infrastructure is improved and maintained while we continue to attract the businesses, families, and recreation that make our community such a vibrant place to live. My husband and I care deeply about this community. We raised our two daughters here, and we're now enjoying spending time with our two wonderful grandchildren. I want the same opportunities for your family that I want for mine, and I'm ready to serve. I'm Amy Canterbury, and I would appreciate your vote. All right, there you have it, the commissioner candidates. Now, the fiscal body of the county, these are the Vanderbilt County Council at large candidates. Have Ed Bassmeyer, Bob Dyg, Jill Ann Hahn, Carice Johnson, Joe Kiefer II, and Dustin Stevens. Thank you to WNIN and the Shriveland Shoulder Show for allowing me time to introduce myself. I am Bob Dyg, incumbent on the Vandenberg County Council. I'm asking for your vote of confidence to allow me to continue to work for you and all financial issues in our county. I grew up on a farm in Posey County where I learned the value of hard work. I moved to Evansville and Vandenberg County six years ago and love the community here. I have a broad experience in local and state government and I served on Posey County Council and the Posey County Commission where I served as president on both bodies. I was then elected to Indiana State Senate, District 49, where I represented Posey and Gibson counties and the south and west sides of Vandenberg County. I was a member of local government and elections, public policy, energy, small business and agriculture committees and was on the Governor's Rural Task Force as well. I was also the only freshman legislator that served on the Senate Appropriations Committee. Among many of my accomplishments, I worked on securing funding for I-69, funding for University of Southern Indiana, Ivy Tech Community College, and student grants for these schools, including the University of Evansville. One of my proudest accomplishments in public service is the fact that I have never missed a meeting or a vote while having a perfect voting record in the Indiana State Senate. Let's take time away from national politics and focus locally. When I was elected to the Indiana State Senate, my first call was from Senator Richard Luger. The Senator congratulated me and told me that if I needed anything, to let him know. Over the next four years, he did help with a number of issues, including funding for families of military personnel that were affected from Agent Orange, we need to work in a bipartisan manner to assure that we do what's best for our community. I believe that dialogue and debate are best for government decisions. Republicans, Democrats, both have great ideas and we need to work together for Vandenberg County citizens. I believe that the local residents care about their taxes and want to know that their money is spent responsibly and we owe it to them to spend money wisely. My priorities are public safety retaining and attracting good paying jobs, roads and bridges, parks and recreation, transportation and affordable housing for all income levels. I have a broad range of knowledge and experience and I'm asking for you to continue to give me the opportunity to serve you. I look forward to listening to the residents of Vandenberg County to make our community a great place to work, live and raise a family. My best attribute is listening to people and what they want to see in their community. I am Bob Dyg, candidate for Vandenberg County Council at large, and ask for your vote. Thank you. Hi, my name is Carice Johnson, and I'm running for Vandenberg County Council at large. I'm an Evansville native, a graduate of Harrison High School, the University of Southern Indiana, and the University of Phoenix online. My family and I reside in the ever-growing northern Vandenberg County. I have spent the last 20 years serving the community through volunteer board service in the areas of youth mentorship, community impact, food security, civic leadership, child advocacy, affordable housing, and much more. Through this work, I've become accustomed to making budget decisions and funding allocations with limited resources. Prioritizing the greater human need is what guides my thought process and always through a lens of equity. I am running because I have been at the ground level serving the families of Vandenberg County in various capacities. Now I want to serve them from a decision-making capacity that will make a deeper impact for years to come. My vision is simple, inclusive growth, safe neighborhoods, and responsible spending. I believe that everyone should have the chance to prosper. By supporting local businesses and fostering entrepreneurship, we can create opportunities for all. Safety is a priority. I will collaborate with law enforcement 
and community leaders to ensure our neighborhoods are secure and welcoming. Fiscal responsibility is key. I will make smart financial decisions to invest in essential services and infrastructure, ensuring our county's long-term success. I am committed to our community's prosperity, safety, and fiscal health. I'm asking for your vote on November 5th. Evansville is an amazing place to live, work, and raise a family. As a four-year member of the Vanderburgh County Council, I've had the opportunity to serve our community. As current president of the council, I have enjoyed increasing our county prosecutors and law enforcement salaries, provided broadband internet to the entire county, and built two ADA-compliant playgrounds and pickleball courts within Burdett Park. I have also signed and overseen the distribution of $65 million worth of American Rescue Plan funds that served nonprofits and other infrastructure enjoyed by the citizens of Vanderburg. This includes a $6 million to begin preserving and renovating the Soldiers and Sailors Coliseum. In May, my role as president helped to break ground on a new mental health jail wing and coroner's building. I look forward to seeing those come to fruition. That's why I am running for re-election for the Vanderburgh County Council at large. Currently, I am the only four-year incumbent and the only lady on the council. Please know that I stand for open communication and will work hard to work hard to make this area the best it can be while growing a great quality of life for the community and continuing job growth. I am proud to say that I am physically responsible and morally strong. Currently, I serve on the Evansville Events, the Convention Visitors Bureau, Metropolitan Planning Organization, Evansville Airport Authority Board, where we have inc been increasing flights to Chicago and places in Florida. My current position with the State of Indiana Office of Community and Rural Affairs, better known as OCRA, gives me an advantage to network for economic development throughout the 15 counties in Southwest Indiana. With 30 years of experience in teaching economics, government in our public schools, and being involved with so many various community organizations right here in Evansville. I've also served on the Federal Reserve Board Educational Advisors, which has helped me to better see what we need for the future of Vanderburg County. Please join me in making all this happen. I welcome your ideas, your insights, and you can follow me on Facebook at Jill Ann Hahn for Vanderburg County Council, where you can keep up with election news and events I am having. I hope I can count on your vote in the general election on Tuesday, November 5th. Thank you, and I'll see you at the polls. My name's Ed Bassmeyer. I'm a candidate for County Council at Large. I'm a lifelong member of, uh, 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 I'm a lifelong resident of Vandenberg County. I've been your public servant for several years as a county councilman, deputy sheriff, and professional firefighter with the Evansville Fire Department for 31 years as a squad captain. Also worked at the Evansville Regional Airport for 12 years as their fire chief, security coordinator, and training director. At the present time, I'm employed at the Vandenberg County Building Authority as a special police officer. I've owned and managed several businesses, one being an emergency ambulance and wheelchair transportation service for the physical challenge, and I own an investment company renting homes to low-income families, and I own a beauty salon. Cool. As a councilman, I had the honor of serving in various roles, three years as a county council president, two years as chairman of the job study, 12-member board, I was a member of the Community Corrections Advisory Board. I'm, uh, I've also been appointed to the Education Roundtable by former Mayor Jonathan Winesapple. Some of the projects I supported uh, over the years as uh, president of the council are the Extension Lynch Road, University Parkway, the African American Museum, the Discovery Lodge at uh, uh, Bert Burnett Park, uh, the uh, the uh, Ford Center, the old National Event Plaza, the soccer and softball complex. Many of those projects attracted uh, visitors and events, bringing 
thousands of dollars of revenue to our community. My goals, if I'm elected to the county council, are to improve the infrastructure, enhance our educational system, improve our parks, improve our public safety, create more affordable living, and attract new jobs and businesses for our community. In the past, you've trusted me to care for your sick and injured while serving as an EMT on the Evansville Fire Department. I, uh, I uh, wish you'd trust me again as your county councilman. Uh, I'm running for, uh, I'm running for uh, county council because I, I believe I can make a difference. Uh, I've, uh, with 20 years experience on the fire department, uh, uh, on the county council, and uh, and and also uh, I'm very familiar with the budget project pro uh, process. I also I also own uh, own and manage several businesses that's that's given me the uh, uh, the experience and knowledge to make sound and reasonable decisions after I'm elected. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hi. I'm Dustin Stevens, and I'm running for Vandenberg County Council at large. I'd really appreciate your vote. I want to explain to you who I am, what I do, and what I want to do for us in the county. To start off, I'm born and raised here in Evansville, Indiana. I am a proud union man. My grandfather was the head of Whirlpool Union. My dad was a member of 136 Pipefitters Union and I'm a member of the Southern Indiana Home Care Union. I want to explain to you what I bring to the table, what I do every day. I have two jobs, a main job and a part-time job. But I want you to think of them as a brain job and a part-time job. My main job, I work at Midwestern Pet Foods. It's a local dog food manufacturer. I'm at the head over inventory, so I, I'm at the oversight of all the finished product and ingredients that go into the, the feed. We test it there, we make sure everything's traceable to protect your pets. And that means a lot to me because I'm a long time pet owner. I've had, I could count them, seven dogs, and I have my favorite cat, my one cat. I'm a proud cat dad. So that means a lot to me. My other job is my part time job and I work with people with disabilities on Sunday. I take one day a week and I dedicate that to trying to help in my community. I have one of the best people I work with every Sunday. I take them out to church, I take them out to grocery shop, and it's a great thing. If everybody in our community could de dedicate five hours a day, one day a week, it, it could change our whole county. So that's what you get with me. You get excitement, you get enthusiasm, and you get emotion. I want to be thanking to the people that are least fortunate and the people that are needing help in our community. I work with them every week. So what I want to do, I want to make the county run exactly how it's running. I think it's running well. I think we have a great crew of people that get along. I think we talk about issues. I just want to be on that, on that community. I want to be on that council and I want to help out, and I want to give to my community. I like to do athletics. I want to be thinking of the parks. I like the bike trail at Burdett. I think that getting people interested in those athletics is going to be great for our youth, and it's already paid for. If we can find the money and pay for it, how many people are getting access to Burdett Park, and it's already paid for? And I want to make sure the ambulances get out to the people deep in the county for our family members if things go wrong. So vote for Dustin Stevens. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Hello, I'm Joe Kiefer II. You're a candidate for Vanderburg County Council at large. I have a background in economics and an MBA, which have equipped me with the skills to make strategic and tactical decisions that yield substantial returns on our community's assets. As Regional Director of Wealth Services, I lead a team managing $800 million in assets, creating dynamic solutions, and mentoring for high performance. Beyond my professional career, I'm deeply committed to our community. I served on the board of Explore Evansville, including four years as president, where I led a revamped budget process and led initiatives that boosted local revenue, such as expanding the Evansville Sports Park. As president of Memorial High School's Booster Club, I redefined our mission to reduce the hidden cost to be a student athlete and to build a stronger, more interconnected community. 
Since then, we have doubled our operating budget and tripled our student athlete scholarships. My experience demonstrates my readiness to serve on the council. I'm a collaborator who builds strong relationships and fosters trust, ensuring we can work together for the betterment of our community. My top priorities are public safety and economic development. Supporting our first responders and helping to facilitate existing initiatives, like the Sheriff's Office Neighborhood-Based Policing Initiative, is essential for community safety. Economic development drives opportunity and improves our quality of life while strengthening local government services. We must consistently push for pro-development policies to allow affordable living conditions and create a competitive edge against other municipalities. Other priorities include ensuring that we tackle our nationally high utility cost and drive a better level of return on investments so we don't have to continue asking more financially from our community. For more on my policy priorities, visit votekeefer.com, where you can also find voter registration links, absentee forms, and polling locations. I represent a new generation of leadership. Vote Kiefer for a better tomorrow. Well, we heard from eight people vying for countywide office. I think you now have a basis upon which to make up your mind. Regardless of who wins these races, I hope the focus is on not just winning, but getting something done. And last month, we talked about the celebration of the completion of, of I-69. We were remiss and not really given the kudos they, he deserves. Mitch Daniels, under his governorship, funded the whole project. Three billion dollars he raised in transportation money. And without that, we, we, we'll be celebrating that project coming to an end. No question. Thank you for watching. Shively and Shoulder.